Hi, my name is Ken Van Rees and I'm in northern Saskatchewan uh, going to make some soil art today. And uh, this is a process I started about back in 2009 where I got this idea of how can I combine what I do as a profession in terms of soil science with art. And I started thinking that maybe I can create art using soils. So I've developed this process where I take gel, I have a big tub of gel here and I mix in paint and then I, once that's all mixed together, then I throw it on a canvas, spread it out, and then take this profile behind me here and try to take an imprint off of it. So this is what I'm going to show you today, just the process of going through this. I'm just trying to mix the gel that I have here because it's been sitting for a little while. And I'm going to pour some onto I think that should probably be enough to cover that canvas, and maybe not. That's a pretty big canvas, so maybe what we'll do is we'll just add a little bit more. And then, um, then I've got some uh, black carbon black paint and I will change the color here so that I have this black background. That I'm going to use to make my soil imprint because I got a lot of reds, some whites in this uh, profile. And so I think the black will show off nicely um, on this. Now, I'm a little concerned because this gel is very, very fluidy. And normally it isn't like that. And this could be a little bit of a problem when I'm I'm just trying to mix this all in. And I could add just a bit more paint, I think. Yeah, I'm beginning to think this is really fluid, which will present me some problems, I think, when I try to do this profile. Okay. All right, now that I've got this, I'm going to move this all onto the canvas, and I guess, in hindsight, I could have done this all on the canvas too. Sometimes it's just nicer to mix on a sheet of plexiglass. And um, I try to clean this off too, then it just makes it a little bit easier for the next piece. get that done. Maybe they'll give it a few minutes for this thing to settle. Okay. All right, I think that's cleaned off. I can do the next one on this again. And now I want to just spread this out on this canvas and I can tell you right now this is just way too loose. The idea is to kind of cover the entire canvas
as you can see this is kind of a messy job but it's all about play and having fun uh, and it's good too to kind of cover your entire canvas because you don't really want any white showing through sometimes I will put a ground on it just to kind of cover up those white spots but I'd like to get a fair bit of oh sorry little guy oh. try to get enough stuff on here that it creates some interesting patterns too when you put it up against the soil profile And you don't you can use any kind of design that you want. And what I'm going to do is to take this and then press this against this beautiful Brunisol soil behind me and see what kind of imprint I can pull off. And maybe just by letting it sit a little while, this is kind of thickened up a little bit is good because if it's too runny I don't think it's gonna work as well I see I've lost some here okay off and the other thing I've learned is if you got soil you better cover it up or you're gonna create a mess on yourself when you're backing out of here okay all right so the goal is to take this thing and put it up against this profile and try to pull an imprint off and uh, we'll see how this works okay I'm gonna now take this canvas which is uh, 24 by 24 and I'm going to bring it here into the soil profile and I'm just trying to figure out where is the best orientation for this and then and then I got to rub the back of it so here goes and then I just kind of rub this the idea is to pull some of that soil off and Sometimes you'll get paint in between and sometimes you'll get interesting marks, but we'll see what happens here. I'm a little worried that this AE horizon will come off and, and I got plenty of Okay, I think I have done enough here, so I'm going to pull this off. <laughs> okay, I think, now what I'm going to do is lift it up from the bottom, because I'm afraid if I don't, that AE horizon may fall down onto it. And this is what I'm left with. And you can see that I have some interesting stuff going on here, but I'm going to lay this flat now 
and let this just dry like this and hopefully these large pieces will dry that way too and create some interesting kind of design on this. This is something that's never happened to me before but because this uh, gel was very fluid I've got a lot of kind of runny uh, uh, material on this canvas which has embedded some of the soil within it too. But you can see I was able to get some of this soil on here but a lot of spots this is like a conglomerate of soil and gel and it just kind of rolled down. To give you that, it actually is a kind of very interesting effect. So something learned again by doing this but uh, here's a piece from the Brunasol in northern Saskatchewan.